There are more than 125 miles of trails inside Cuyahoga Valley National Park. I've picked out five great loop trails to get you started. The Boston Run Trail was a nice surprise for me. This is in the Virginia Kendall area and Peninsula. And I'll have links to all these trails in the description below. But I really like this because of all the stream crossings that the trail takes you over. There are some quiet benches where you can stop as well, not necessarily to rest, but just to observe nature and give your mind a break from your busy schedule. This is a 3.1 mile hike. I was on this trail while it was raining a little bit, but it seemed to drain pretty fast. I saw trail runners on this loop. It's probably a half hour or 45 minute jog, and it's well shaded. There's one section of the trail that's by the road, but the majority is really quiet. The Ledges Trail is one of the most scenic hiking trails in Ohio. You'll see right away why it's so popular. There are rock faces that rise straight up from the trail. The route is a 1.8 mile oval, but there are a lot of different places to explore in between the rock formations too. Icebox Cave is closed for bat protection, but you can still come up and see inside. One nice part about the Ledges is that it's connected to other hiking trails, so you could make it a whole day of hiking if you want to and people like to go to the overlook and see out into the valley. You're looking west, so it's a popular spot for sunsets. Brandywine Gorge Trail is the hiking trail around Brandywine Falls. The waterfall is one of the most visited attractions in the national park, and it's a fun hike around the gorge. There's some great views of the creek, some scenic benches. Expect it to be busy on summer weekends especially. This trail connects with the Stanford Trail and the Summit Bike and Hike Trail if you want to extend your hike. The Salt Run Trail includes a natural spring, a lot of hills, and a beautiful hemlock grove. I think this trail is very scenic, not so much because of any sweeping vistas or overlooks, but because of the pristine nature here. You really feel like you're hiking in another state. This is a more challenging trail at 3.3 miles. There are some challenging hills and steps. You'll come near streams at the eastern end of the trail, which I really enjoyed near the three wooden bridges. The Oak Hill Trail and the Plateau Trail are both beautiful. Oak Hill is an easy 1.8 miles that takes you beside Sylvan Pond in the middle of the woods. The best time to be here actually would be the fall just because of the autumn colors. If you're here in the summer, wear bug spray. Oak Hill is a quick hike that should take you less than an hour. This part of the park is very secluded and quiet and I think these trails are also a great escape. See what you think. Here are some more videos about Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Check out Blue Hen Falls on the waterfall video because that's a nice waterfall hike inside the park. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below on your favorite trails inside the National Park.